The idea is really simple. All the mobs <laughs> do a little break dance. Break dancing llamas. Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm on 16W39B. I will be making a video on PokéCA Alpha. Just not now, it's going to be in a couple of days. I generally release PokéCA videos on bigger days, so like Sundays. However, I am pretty much done, and if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I'm posting a lot of release updates. And hopefully some of you guys have been catching my terribly scheduled live streams. The ones where I live stream when you guys are all at school or asleep. Stay tuned, it's going to be in a couple of days. So what I have today is a llama video. Uh, and of course, llamas are very dorky. So, what I've done here is I have spiced them up a little bit. I've used their new caravan-like feature, and I want to share with you something that I've actually done. This is one of the first things that came to my mind when they were released. It's this little concept here. Now, I'm going to spawn in a llama. Have you noticed that there's a little face on his nose? Right? You can't unsee it now. <laughs> so, now we have a llama who's just <laughs> mesmerized. And watch all the pigs when I start leashing him. Look at them react. They're gonna start forming a caravan. I can't, I can't stop saying that word now. It's a parade of pigs. And they're gonna start following the llama as they follow me. As the llama follows me. Useful little concept that I've made for map making and survival purposes. Uh, I really don't know whether this is gonna be very appropriate. Uh, or if anyone's going to really use this, but probably more hilarious than useful. But anyway, I've also added some uh, neat additions to this. I can add any mob that I want. It's a very simple concept. You can see the very minimal amount of command blocks over there. Are only four command blocks here. But the idea is really simple. All the mobs... <laughs> do a little break dance. All the mobs are going to start following... <laughs> break dancing llamas. All the mobs are going to start following this dude. This dude. And uh, some mobs actually don't follow. Really a little bit unusual. I think there is probably a limit to the number of mobs that can use this uh, parade mechanic. Um, but I don't really know too much about it. Not a lot of llamas can, <laughs> can brag about this. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, zombie spawn egg to spawn in some sheep using the same behavior. And then let's, uh, let's spawn in another llama. I think he's had enough. Oh, it's a baby llama. He's still going to do the job for me. <laughs> Oh, that llama's gonna follow now. Let's see some of the sheep follow as well. There we go. Two sheep, one sheep. You know what they say about sheep, right? New, Ze <laughs> New Zealand jokes. Doesn't seem to be happening in this occasion. But there we go, this little llama, he's leading all these animals to me. So, I do see some purposes here. For instance, if you have issues rounding up mobs in survival, you can do this. But in any case, this can probably be applied to it. It is going to be a little bit problematic in survival because there's currently an issue where I cannot use entity data to create passengers. Okay, that's enough of that. Let me explain what I mean. So how this works is quite simple. Let me go into spectator mode. You can see there are llamas riding all of these mobs. You've probably guessed that already. And whenever a llama wants to follow, the mob will follow. So how I do this is using the passengers tag in the NBT. Now the problem here is I cannot use entity data. Now, if you can use Entity Dana, you can simply put this command block in to your survival world, and then it's going to summon a llama on top of every mob that you want to round up. But you can't do that right now, which is why it's probably not applicable in survival right now. But here's how it works. It's executing to a creeper, I'm using a creeper egg, and summoning a pig with a passenger, which is a llama. So, let's scroll through this. Passenger ID is llama, it's silent, and it has the invisibility effect, of course. And then I'm going to kill the creeper. Doing the same thing with a zombie. Then I'm going to kill the zombie. This time it's a sheep. So, there's not really too much to explain apart from this. Um, if you can use entity data, this is going to be cut down into only one command block. You don't need to kill anything, just need to use entity data. But it's pretty fun to do anyway. It's <laughs> all the mobs forming a parade behind a llama. That's all I really wanted to say. Got some pretty cool ideas to come up with in 1.11 with this new llama concept and the shulker boxes concept. I didn't really talk about the totem of undying. I do believe it also uses a resource pack entity model. So perhaps I can have a totem turn into a cluckalore to save me rather than a totem. <laughs> um, if I can do that, I'd actually make a video about it, but uh, that's not my concern right now. My concern is of course Poke CA because it's really close to alpha. It's almost October 1st. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Baby llamas, really cute. <laughs> and subscribe for more creative content. Did I have a tail? A little tail. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for watching. As always, take care.